Hi, my name is Marin, and today FM rocks in Lambasa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Yanda Winaka, Fiji, in this bulletin, health teams ensure safety at evacuation centers. Disaster response teams to be deployed soon. And more than 15,000 people access tax information portal. From the studios of FBC Suva, Edwin Nath. Public health teams are working alongside the National Disaster Management Office to ensure it's safe for Fijians in evacuation centers to return home. Health Minister Dr. Ifiremi Ongai Nabete says they're on the ground assessing situations to ensure Fijians are safe from communicable diseases such as typhoid and dengue fever. He says they've also been visiting families in evacuation centers. Public health teams have been uh, uh, working around uh, uh, the areas in which uh, they are the highest risks and, um, and you know, in, in ways of mitigating those risks. What they've also been doing is actually... Uh, uh, in the evacuation centers, for example, they've been uh, turning up and uh, giving uh, wash kits, which includes uh, water purification tablets, uh, giving some awareness to those in the evacuation centers. Prime Minister Voreng Mbani Marama has called on Fijians to be patient in light of electricity and water supply disruptions following TC Sarai. Mbani Marama has received an update on the state of the utilities after the passing of the tropical cyclone. The Prime Minister has assured those affected by TC Sarai that the government is acting, but things cannot change overnight. They need water, they need electricity. Uh, of course, the road needs to be cleared. Uh, water and electricity will take a bit of time. Uh, we can all understand what uh, they're going through. The disaster response teams will only be deployed to Kandavu once the jetty is accessible and the weather clears. Disaster Management Minister Chone Usamate says the sea is also very rough and it's risky to deploy teams now. Usamate says civil servants on the ground are taking, undertaking initial damage assessment and deployment will soon take place as soon as the all clear is given. He says they are also in talks with the government workers on the island regarding the needs of the villages. A full assessment will be done on all affected islands once shipping services normalize. If we have to move people to Kanda, we'll have to make sure that the jet is accessible, that it has to be fixed. Uh, arrangements are being made to look at the possibility of boats going down. Um, assessments, uh, initial assessments, we need to talk to our civil servants that are on the ground in Kanda. We have good access. Boxer Sebastian Singh, facing assault charges, has been further remanded. Singh appeared before the Suva Magistrates Court yesterday, charged with one count of assault causing actual bodily harm. It's alleged that on the 22nd of December, he assaulted his legally married wife in Suva. Police prosecution objected to bail as at, as, the as at the time of the incident, his wife was three months pregnant. The defense also informed the court that Singh is now in another relationship. The case will be recalled on January 13th for mention. More than 15,200 taxpayers accessed the new online taxpayer information system since its launch earlier this month. Fiji Revenue and Customs Authority Chief Executive Vishwanath Das says these people logged into the system to sign up for TIN registration, joint card, lodgement of VAT returns and the tax agent engagement. Das says the $48 million IT project will help businesses become more compliant. He also stresses no late lodgement penalty will be imposed on taxpayers who are defined as defaulters if they are not able to make an online application by January 2020. We are encouraging our taxpayers, our customers, to go online and lodge. If taxpayers are able to do that voluntarily, that's well and good. Where they need assistance, then our team are also on the ground at our customer service centers providing that assistance through our kiosks. Coming up, Fiji needs to dominate its pool in Hamilton and Continental Cup to be held in New Zealand in March next year.
Facebook. Ako ay Tabua. Ang ito talitay na nabarong ay na Bula FM na Mandua na Sir. Bula! Ang ang gonoa, iluto ka, ang talita ka ng Bula FM, ang talita ka ng Mandua na Sir. Ni Bula FM na ka, nandarikin ko sa Bula FM nga. Eh na kasi. Nandarang ko sa mundo at siyo ng Bula FM ng Mandua na Sir ng Sur. Ni Bula FM na ka, nandarang ko Jerry, ayaw may lampasa. Ang ito barong nga ay ng Bula FM. Bula FM, nombor dua en seri. Welcome back. Dominating their pool will be one of the goals for the Fiji Airways men's national sevens team going into the Hamilton and Sydney sevens tournaments. National coach Gareth Baber says the team has been unable to do so in their previous tournaments this season. Baber believes all teams will need to be vigilant and put in the extra effort if they are to qualify from the pools at the Hamilton Sevens next month as a new format of Sevens is implemented. As per the new format, there will be no quarterfinals and teams will have to work hard to qualify straight into the semifinals. Fiji will take on Samoa in its opening match at 12.47 p.m. January 25th, followed by Australia at 6.35 p.m. before facing Argentina at 11.57 a.m. on January 25th. 26th. The Fiji Football Federation has confirmed the dates for the 2019 Continental Cup tournament. The tournament will be held on the 10th of March in New Zealand. Federation President Lingango Kisuva says they had to hold the tournament before June as it is the first round of qualification for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. He says the postponement was a blessing in disguise as teams were able to have more time to prepare. The coach and the officials get to uh, harness the uh, technical knowledge and the game plan for the players. So this uh, postponing the match actually work uh, towards our favor as well. And as tropical cyclone Sarai leaves Fiji waters today, mostly cloudy conditions and afternoon showers are forecast for the Fiji group. And that's your FPC Morning News. Remember to join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. That's it from me for now. Have a good morning. My name is Neha and I'm from Kadavi. And Mirchi FM, it's hot. Hama chale na sorry se. Mirchi FM Bo Julum. Hi, I'm Shari Pukash Batkata. Tava me Mirchi FM Stepkinson and Mirchi FM is hot. Hi, my name is Prashan. I live in Suba. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM is hot. Hi, I'm Shane. I love uh, listening Mirchi FM because it's awesome and it's hot. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Shavi. We, we love listening to Mirchi FM in Lambasa. Mirchi FM, it's hot.